This is Michael Johnson with the Brainerd Dispatch, reporting from Mille Lacs Lake. In an effort to find out the population of smallmouth bass in one of Minnesota's largest lakes, the Minnesota DNR started capturing and tagging smallmouth bass from Mille Lacs last week. This is part of uh, our efforts to learn more about the smallmouth bass in Lake Mille Lacs. Uh, attempted a population estimate a few years ago, but uh, this is a much more intensive effort. Uh, we'll be tagging the fish with uh, yellow Floyd tags. So be, we're going to do one or two on each fish, one under each the spiny and the soft dorsal spin. That helps us evaluate tag loss as well. But really, what we're looking for is if people catch a tag fish, there's ways to report that on the DNR website. Love to see that. Uh, if you're letting the fish go, please leave the tag in the fish. Yeah, it's very important to us to be able to know how many times a fish is caught during the year. Uh, if it moves from one spot to another after it's caught, all those kinds of things. But the primary emphasis is learning more about the biology, the growth rates, and the sheer number of... This study involves using electrofishing boats, which uses a generator to produce electricity. The electricity travels to the poles called booms at the front of the boat and into the water. The electric field doesn't kill the fish, but temporarily stuns or impairs them. The fish are then scooped from the water with nets and placed in a holding tank before measured and tagged. The Minnesota DNR hopes to capture and tag 2,000 bass during this period. Okay, so this is our tag spawn bass, um, tag in the front dorsal, um, and also in the um, soft dorsal, right? Um, these are number tags. You can see there's a number on them right here. Um, go ahead and just read that number off, leave the tags in the fish. Um, sometimes these do LG up a little bit, so if you just scrape the LG off, then you can get at the number and just report the data on the DNR website. And uh, it will actually wind up providing some information back to the anglers that will then report those fish. Uh, it'll tell us where the fish was tagged, uh, when we tagged it. The DNR is not asking anglers to release tagged fish if they wish to take them home for a meal. They just ask anglers to follow the regulations. If anglers take the time to report the tagged fish, it will only help gain a better understanding of the fish numbers, their behaviors, and overall health. This is Michael Johnson, the Brainerd Dispatch.